Ooh, I made it to the Philippines. I think this is not for me, man. This is not enough for me. Yeah, the people are truly, truly happy. They're very nice, very open, very friendly. So that was my expectation. I was expecting people to be friendly, and it is. Previously on Asia Round Trip. This was absolutely. Oh yeah. She's here. Everyone is on fire. Yes, of course, the crew guys, they're on fire. Camera sets, yeah, action. Yes, she's smiling. She's cool. She's gorgeous. Should I be saying this? But anyways, I do love her. Coming up on Asia Round Trip. Hello, yeah, can I get a um, tea piece, yeah, and a roti? So the guy's flapping his bread there. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's gonna be a long travel day, man. When you got the cream. Escalator! This escalator is so slow. Even my grandma can go faster than this. I'm not joking, man. It's so slow. Grandma can do better than this. Oh. Ah, I'm not posted. Malaysia. Bus terminal is gorgeous. Wow, I'm a after all, and I'm tired of being emotional. Ouch. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm back in the city of Kuala Lumpur. Right, so literally it's about to rain, but I'm actually rushing just to go and try this thing. So rotis, they call it, it's a mason tea house, so I have to go there. Anyways, right now I'm in Kuala Lumpur, yeah, Malaysia. Oh, the things, so I need to get the tea really quick. Hello, yeah, can I get a um, tea please, yeah, and a roti? Tea, tea, tea. tea and roti please, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Iced tea, iced tea? Iced tea please, yeah. Iced tea. Iced tea. Iced tea. Iced tea. Iced tea. It's the tea there. It's the iced tea. <laughs> I've never seen a roti like that before, so it's quite unique. Oh, this one as well? Yeah, sure. They're telling me what to do. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Don't know which way to go. Oh, no. My God. So, and the end result is going to be like this. Brilliant, no? What's your name? Abdul Kulam. Kulam, man. Yeah. My name nice is Ahmad. Ahmad, Ahmad, nice to you. You're Muslim, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm from India. Abdul. You're from India? You are from? From London. Yeah. Man. Uh, <laughs> What's your name? Indonesia. You're from Indonesia? No. Oh wow, it's a quite mix. No, I mean, it's not for like Malaysia. Yeah. This girl name uh, home. Oh, what? Home. Oh. <laughs> oh my, look at the roti, man. This guy is a master here. Make him everything there. So that's my thing there. So yeah, it's a pleasure. Let me, let me just try this thing quick. Unique roti I've seen so far and it comes with a tag. You've got to have the roti, man, when you come to Kuala Lumpur. In this place, apparently they've perfected it, yeah? Over the years, and it's quite famous. I want the people to be on the background as well. So you're in the background, yeah? So you see the guys in the background as well, so that's amazing. On the fourth Oh, that place is so rich. This, I think this is not food, man. This is not enough for me. The high tea. Really, really nice. So I have this thing, look at it, head yolk. My goodness, look how rich this thing is. It's so rich, it's so thick as well. You're like, ooh, look how juicy this thing is. Oh, yeah. This is, let's say it's a breakfast thing. And this place, um, come back for 24, 24 hours. It's quite good. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's brilliant man, these guys are nice. I have to head out quick. Oh my god, look at here as well. I think this section is like a mix of Indian and you know, it's a proper, oh look at this thing here. Mmm, oh my 
very good. That's sick, man. See, long here. Yeah. So I have to go now to the airport, mate. Traffic is insane. I'm literally stuck, man. I'm driving a stop really quick to get a patrol. Okay, now I made it to the airport. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear trainers this time, so I'm gonna suck on and clothes are gonna slide in. Right, gonna head to here. Come on, boarding pass now. Oh, I'm in Manila right now, man. So it's like six in the morning. Wee 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 wee. I'm walking on this. Oh yeah, in Manila. <laughs> Look at that foreign passport. The line. It's madness, man. This is insane. Man, actually, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It's like first impression uh, going through immigration. Yeah, it's mad. So it's coming in the next four minutes. In the Philippines. thing is, other than that, like here in the Philippines, like compared to the country I was in Malaysia, here Grab is a bit expensive. I think the reason why is because like the traffic here is super, 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 super bad. I mean, really bad. Yeah, so pretty much and got a Grab and like in the taxi. So yeah, got my camera recording and I was trying to like wind down the mirror and I was like, don't do that. No, don't open up the, the window at all. Like it's not safe. Someone, someone might grab your camera, so leave it like that. So of course, even on the motorway trying to do that, it 
close the window as well, so I can't do that. For safety reason, don't do that, right? I've got out the hair pool and now I'm here. So pretty much like walking down the streets as well. Like I think the one thing I've noticed, like here there's not a lot of street food on the way, because especially in the morning, so you have breakfast, so there's not a lot of options. And also, and the thing is like here, the people are truly, truly happy. They're very nice, very hoping, very friendly. So that was my expectation. I was expecting people to be friendly, and it is reality-wise, it's top notch. It's amazing, right? But yeah, um, yeah, you'll find a lot of like let's say fast food chain, like especially talking about McDonald's, and Wendy's, yeah, American fast food chain, Wendy's, KFC, of course, the local Jollibee's. Yeah, it's quite famous. Like, so all this fast food chain, they're very close to each other. It's like very, very close, man. So I barely see that when I was in Malaysia. Um, yeah. So I think and that is the thing here. Yeah. Now speaking of the cheap, right? So cheap in a cheap aspect here. Yeah. Um, Manila, the Philippines is a lot more cheaper compared to Malaysia, Thailand, compared to um, Singapore, of course. You know, everyone knows Singapore is mad, mad expensive. But yeah, man, here yeah, to get it around, it's it's cheaper, right? It's very cheap. Um, and even food, but I would say escape grass because the traffic every time of the day, let's say 24-7. I literally traffic it's not good at all i think maybe on a sunday it's a little bit let's say better but no 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 it can still be a little bit let's say a madness right let me just go back to transportation in terms of transportation yeah you do have two options you can you have three options maybe more than a lot of options you can take the jeepney you can take the, the tricycle you can take let's say the mrt or the lrt so the thing about the mrt because the one staying here in makati is that but the MRT is a little bit far away from one state, so it's got to take a little bit of walk. Yes, I can walk, let's say, about 20 to 25 minute walk, which is really madness, man. So, especially when it's hot. I would say, yeah, in the Philippines, it's super hot compared to Malaysia. Um, Malaysia is mad hot, so here yeah, I feel like it's a little bit chill, really cool, right? And then it doesn't rain that much. Yeah, and that is the one thing I absolutely love about this place. It doesn't rain that much because like, when I'm walking, I don't want it to rain. And if it rains, that means there's no show for me. That means I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna be able to make videos. I'm not gonna be able to capture something unique. So yeah, you can take the MRT. But the thing is that before you go into the MRT, I didn't actually know nothing about this. This is reality. You have to go through, let's say, TSA. Yes, it may sound a bit like crazy. TSA? What are you, what are you talking about? What I mean is, like here, you go to the MRT, you go into the, the, the mall, you go into, like, let's say, a bank. They're gonna search you. Yeah, they're gonna search you. They're gonna look at your bag. They wanna know what's in your bag. I say because like the Philippines there, yeah, let's say, especially in Manila, um, it's a very crowded, very densely populated place. So that means that the crime here, yeah, it might be a little bit, let's say, crazy, especially if you stay in a very, let's say, a poverty area. So that means, yeah, yeah, you need to watch out. So most of the people here, the locals, what I've learned, I've seen them, like, they carry the bag, the little bag, with the, the backpack, in front of them, so they can keep it inside of it. So no one can open the bag and try to pickpocket it. Yeah? Even on the train as well, it's so packed. That's the thing. Go for a security, multiple security, and then they'll check your thing. Maybe sometime the security, I, I, I wouldn't say it's top notch. Sometimes just like, okay, um, yeah, you're good, you're good to go, which is a bit crazy. And then, yeah, I think well, that's the only best option you have if you want to get around quicker to other part of, like, let's say, Makati or Manila. So, yeah, pretty much that. Like, I think that is the best option when it comes to that. We'll wrap things up, yeah, because I don't want to make it too long because it's been a very long travel day. I traveled all the way from Malaysia, but coming here. Yeah. And I can tell you what, trying the Malaysian food, the local food there, it was absolutely delicious, man. Amazing tea house. Just top like I love the hospitality there. Malaysia's hospitality is top like, just like the Filipinos there as well. I love the Filipino hospitality. Yeah, the people who call you sap. And that is my first. So, like in Southeast Asia, yes, of course, maybe occasionally in Malaysia, they say in Thailand, people will say, hello sir, or here 24-7, everywhere you go, people, someone who's older than you, they call you sir. They're just so polite, they're just so nice, so friendly, so yeah, so hospitable, man. I absolutely love that one thing. And then my perception, I used to think like the Philippines, especially in Makati, I used to think like, oh, it's very, very dirty, very polluted. Yes, kind of polluted, you know what I mean? Because you've got the, the tuk tuk, the jeepney, you've got the cars, you know, the motorbike, they're all polluting the city, they're going crazy, mad traffic. And of course, when speaking of traffic, they got this kind of people, they're coordinating the traffic, they're trying to make it less chaotic. So they're trying to organize things because despite they do have a traffic light, 
but that, that is the one shocking thing, man. So, but it's shocking at the same time, fascinating. The transportation mood here is sick, man. I love the Jiggly, it's absolutely impressive. I love it, absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. And then, yeah, man, so cross impression about the Philippines is pretty good and it's clean. Yeah, I saw these ladies on my way to get a breakfast, a lady were cleaning the street in the street. It's very, very, very clean. So, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, let's say that's a a thumbs up man so absolutely impressed with that so yeah i think that's it all the things i've experienced so far here in the philippines and i can tell you it's yeah it's a good start and at the same time yeah let's say really surprising things happen here and make sure when you come here make sure you buy a return ticket man that is a must literally if you don't buy a return ticket at the airport they're going to refuse you to enter or if you want to stay then you're going to be paying a lot more make sure you buy a return ticket before you get to the Philippines or else expect to pay yeah expect to pay a lot next time on Asia round trip If you enjoyed this episode and you to this channel, why not subscribe and watch this next?